Okay, I'm chiming in here to see if anyone can explain this. First, check this out. Sun's going down. Winter Wonderland here at the cabin, having fun. But can anyone explain this? It's like unexplainable, right? So, I have this dream that I'm going over this bridge and I see my cousin on a motorcycle. And in the dream, I stop and talk to him. So next day I'm driving over the bridge, going on a locksmith job. There's my cousin James on his motorcycle, his Harley. I'm like, hey man, pull over. Can you explain that? Every time I had a dream about my uncle and uh, hadn't seen him in over a year, maybe two. And next day, same thing. Boom, there's my Uncle Ken. One time I had a dream about my Uncle Bud. And in my dream, Uncle Bud died. Next day, I called my mom. I said, hey, I had a dream that Uncle Bud died. She said, let me call Gene. She called Gene. Guess what? Gene says, Uncle Bud has gone to the hospital. I had a pain in his arm. Short time after that, she calls back. Uncle Bud died. Love my Uncle Bud. Good man. Good to me. Good to family. I have all these dreams that for people I meet the next day. Can you explain that? If a man can see into the future about something that hasn't happened, like I even have dreams about people I don't even know and I meet them and I know all kinds of things about them. I had this dream one time and uh, in my dream, the there was this guy and he was taking his kids to school in the dream and his wife had left him and was sleeping with the neighbor next door, uh, next door or across the street. And next day I go on a locksmith job and knock on the door. The guy's not there. So I call him on the phone. He says, oh, don't worry. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm just dropping my kids at school. Well, boom. It's for this guy. He shows up and I say, I have a word from the Lord for you. He says, really? I said, yeah. The Lord told me in a vision, in a dream, that your wife left you and she was sleeping with the neighbor. She said she left me and she's living with the neighbor across the street. Like, can you explain this? Because the only explanation I can come up with is there is a God and he knows all things and he knows the future. Because if a man can see into the future, there must be destiny. And if there's destiny, there has to be a God. That's the only explanation I can come up with. And then I used to think Christians are crazy because they say the weirdest things and things they say don't make sense. But if you just pick up the Bible, the Holy Bible, and read the small book of John in the New Testament, just read that little book. It'll take you like 15 minutes. Just pick it up and read it for yourself. And then when you're done with that, you're going to be amazed and you're going to read the whole New Testament right through the end of the book of Revelation. And you're going to do it faster than you ever read any book before. Because when you read the book of John, you get the gospel of God and then it makes sense. But when you listen to a preacher or a Christian try to explain it, they always mess it up. Just read the book of John. Right? That's all you got to do. And then once you finish reading the book, of, the book, the problem Christians have is they don't even read the New Testament and they go to a church. And this pastor tells them something and they believe it. If you just sit down and read the Bible for yourself, you're not going to get deceived. So, hey, and the same guy that has dreams about people, I'm telling you, we're in the end times. Get your life right with the Lord and uh, repent and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. For we're living in the end times. God bless.